What's up guys and welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash and today we're going to be heading into a few different things. If you didn't see the last episode you definitely should because it was a jam packed episode. We went to Port Prisma, got a few things done there, got a few more paint stars and we unlocked Indigo Underground where a lot of cool stuff went down including unlocking our brand new area Daffodil Peak which we'll go into in a moment but you might have noticed as well on the top left way up here and we got ourselves Rochambeau Temple number one. So why don't we go ahead in here and see what this is all about, because this looks really cool to me. Ooh. So it definitely looks like rock, paper, scissors, which I think that's like what like Rochambeau is basically rock, paper, scissors in, I think, Japan? I'm not really sure. Welcome to the Rochambeau Temple. This is where legends are made. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. The second, the second round opponent either punches or does an open-handed slap during fights. What do you have to say? So, interesting. The first round opponent only ever uses a card that's most resembles him. He's well-rounded. Interesting. I'm not really sure what that means. Temple number one prizes. First round 300 coins, second round 500 coins, third round 1,000 coins, and a card. Wow. Okay, that's big prizes. I mean, I wonder what the price of entry is. <laughs> what is with this toad hiding over here? Let's see. Have you heard about the Rock Paper Wizard? He's the best Rochambeau player in the world. Hmm. There's no missing like pain areas around here, right? What if I open the menu up really quick? Um, status. It actually doesn't have any paint worth filling up. Interesting. So I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, if you really want to get into that tournament, come and see me and we'll work something out. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, we'll try to see what we can do here. Can we not normally get in? Oh, there's a little concession stand over here. That's nice. Oh, what's going on? The toads near the staircase have an inside scoop on all the rising Rochambeau stars. They might be able to give you a few pointers. Yep, I already got them, don't worry. <laughs> might be able to give you a few pointers at this point, man. If you win the, the tournament, I hear they shower you with cards and coins. Yeah, seems like it with the prizes. The prizes, prizes. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the Prisma Cafe at Ro Rochambeau Temple number one. Would you like to order something? Hmm. These are expensive, but I wonder if they're worth it. Interesting stuff. Maybe we need to drink some of that to have like a better advantage in the game or something? I could see that being a thing. All right, let's see. If you'd like to compete in the Rochambeau tournament, please head through the door. We're about to start a tournament here at Rochambeau Temple. Do you want in? Sure. Then why would I want to talk to the blue guy to sneak in? Hmm. Maybe there's something weird going on here. We'll have to find out. Whoa, it's like a wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> or like an arm wrestling competition. This is cool, I love it. Oh boy, since the dawn of time, warriors have gathered here to battle, journeying from distant lands and for a shot at eternal glory. One must make their own luck to overcome the odds. This is the art of Rochambeau. Oh my gosh, so many toads. Super Rochambeau. <laughs> it feels like an episode of Dragon Ball. <laughs> So what's up to this guy looks mean. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, the rookie hailing from the Mushroom Kingdom, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, Mario! I just think that's his theme song. And in this corner, Bowser's timeless small fry, the spectacular speed bump, the sentient sh 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 shiitake? Oh, it's a mushroom. Okay, then. Go, 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 Goomba! No, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I see. It's a Goomba. All right, then. Round one, Mario versus Goomba. Challenges, draw your cards. Okay. Fight! Okay, this is gonna be scary. I'm a little nervous. Look at the menu. So we just gotta choose rock, paper, or scissors. I'm gonna go with scissors. Why? It was the card in the middle. Uh, I'm ready. I'm nervous. Rochambeau, I got scissors. What does he got? Oh no, it's blue as well. Rochambeau. Oh, Goomba wins. It's one right, it's not best out of three or nothing? Excuse me. Well, maybe we should just try paper next time. We lost. Can we he head back in? Can we try again? Tough break, you'll get them next time. Uh, sorry, we're not accepting interest for the tournament at Rochambeau number, Temple number one right now, but go find another paint star and then we'll talk. And just between you and me, you can even go refine one you've already found. Wink, wink. 
Oh, I see. So every time we get a pain star, we have a chance of getting a Rochambeau Temple coin. Ah, what about you? Look, I can sneak you into the tournament for it, but it'll cost you 100 coins. Sure, if we're gonna win 300 coins. Okay, in here. Let's try this out. Let me try paper. Just to keep showing this up, because this seems very interesting. Okay. So, so yeah, so we can skip all this. Okay, there's a nice handy skip button, which I appreciate. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, we got the Mario Mama, Mama Mia, Mario Mario Mama. <laughs> Mario Mama. And in this corner, it's Goomba, Ooga Booga. Here, haven't we seen it before? Okay. So let's go ahead and try paper this time. Like just hop right into it. I mean, it's by chance, right? I, I would hope these first characters have it the same thing every time. Let's see. Oh, I'm nervous. It is Rosham. Oh, and I win! Yeah, we get past round one. Mario wins. He's surprised for making it through this first round. So we already made our money back. Oh man, we broke a thousand coins too. Nice. Oh, look at us up there, yeah! Very cool. Oh man, I'm nervous. This this pain train has no brakes. Let's bring on your round two opponent. He won't show his face in public for fear of judgment. The indelicate introvert, the bashful basher, sh shy guy! <laughs> I like this this tone announcer. Round two, Mario versus Shy Guy. Challengers, draw your cards. Okay, Shy Guy definitely seems like a paper kind of guy. So I'm gonna go with scissors. I don't think we're gonna get two rocks in a row. That just doesn't seem right. Like our, the enemy's gonna have two rocks in a row, you know? So I'm gonna go with scissors because he seems like a paper kind of guy. Sham, whoa. Yes, all right, I was right. Because they did say it's sort of based off their per personality, you know? Which, it's weird, if you think so, you'd think they'd all be paper, because they're all made out of paper. But Mario wins against the Shy Guy. He was surprised for making it through the second round. And it's gonna be a bunch of coins. So I can only assume that the next guy is gonna be scissors, right? You know, just sort of through normal deduction skills. And seeing how this is the first one, it's gonna be rather easy. I wonder how many Rochambeau temples there are. All right, the final round is opponent. I'm just now noticing in the background, look at the toads behind the speech bubble. They all have like the rave glowy sticks. <laughs> The final round is upon us. Let's meet your final opponent. He's the green shield shocker, the friendly fire foot soldier. Don't you dare call him a turtle. Go, 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 Troopa. I love how they threw that in there. So are there actual turtles in the Mario world then? This is it, round three, Mario versus Koopa Troopa challengers. Set your cards. I'm gonna go with Rock this time, obviously just because I think it's just sort of normal deduction skills. We haven't used Rock yet, and they're probably just gonna make us use every, you know, one. Give us an idea of how this game mode works. Make it nice and easy. That's just sort of how these kind of games usually work, right? All right. Oh man, this is so cool. Row, Shim, Bow, and we tied. Oh my. Ooh, a tie. Challengers, back to your marks. Round two, challenges, draw your cards. All right, I'm gonna go with paper. It's a big risk. Or maybe I should go with rock again. Oh, I don't know, this is the thing about rock, paper, scissors, it's literally luck. Like you can try to predict your enemy, but of course it's gonna be rock, he's a Koopa, you know? It's like the Koopa shell is like very similar to a rock in that way. Oh, he got me! <laughs> ah, Koopa Troopa wins. He got me good. He read me like a book. Dang. All right, well. <laughs> Should we cheat our way back in? Ouch, close one, you'll get him next time. We could, I, I mean, we might as well. I mean, we got our coins back. Like guys, we went in there with 800 coins. If this is not a way to, you know, immediately turn around all your cash, I don't know what is, you know? Cause that Goomba, by the beginning, it's like, it seems like he's gonna be the same thing every time. I forget what he was, he was a rock. So let's skip this right here. And then we're just gonna go right into uh, all of this. I wanna try, you know, beating the Goomba. Cause I definitely think it'll be the same this time around. I don't see why it would be different, but I mean, it's all by chance. If we don't get it here, I'll cut out and I'll keep trying until we get there because honestly, I think we'll be able to make our coins back no problem. But he's gonna choose rock, so I'm gonna choose paper. Let's throw that out there and see what happens. It's gonna be Ro-Sham-Bo. We win, <laughs> nice and easy. 
There you go, so there's three hundred questions for us, guaranteed Mario wins that one. And I think what it is is that the first round is the same every time, and then maybe the second round is based off of what we play? So that's pretty cool, we need to keep that in mind. So if we can um, remember everything that has been played. So next is gonna be Scissors, we're gonna go back to Rock. So we'll keep that in mind. So let's skip all this. We're ready? Oh wow, okay, let's just skip right to the ready. So, fight. Um, we're gonna go ahead, he's gonna be a paper, we gotta go ahead and use scissors here. Get ready. Throw that out there. Oh boy. Oh, shambo. Oh. That's not good. Ooh, a tie. Challenges back to your marks. This is not good. Oh man, it's gonna be entirely luck then. Oh man, he could play rock, but he could pay paper. That's the thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, please let me be right this time. Rochambeau. Dang it, they're too smart for me. All right, I got to the second round again, and that's the thing. I don't know, because before it wasn't rock, right? He actually played paper. No, he played scissors, so maybe I should play rock. That's sort of the thing, is that even the Goomba is tripped up. I found out that the two toads will change what they say every time at the front of the staircase. This time they said they have no clue what's gonna happen, so I don't know, I've gotten lucky because the Goomba's changed it up. We've lost quite a few times. I've spent a good amount of time just trying it now. So if I don't get it this time, Oh, I win, yes! Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna try, you know, just take a break from that, but we win, we beat Goomba, all three of them taken down. Yeah, look at us, that's awesome! Hooray! <laughs> Victory! Awesome, so we won our first Rochambeau Temple. You are our tournament champion. You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins and a brand new car. <laughs> you got the lemon replica, cool. Prize money, a thousand coins. Holy cow, look at how much money we got. We went from 800 to 3,500 in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most. Let's see, that's right, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Bye! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> wow, that is probably the easiest way you could earn coins. I could see you getting maxed out coins, or at least like, I think, people have been saying the maxed out is like 9999. If so, then you can easily get it there. You won! Hooray, congratulations! All right, then. So now what? What's gonna go on? Congrats for winning the tournament at Rochambeau Temple number one. No problem, no problem. So we've won all that. What should I do with all my newer, newfound cash? I don't know what the card, yeah, I see. They will tell you what they think it is, so. Definitely take a listen to them before you head into there. But let me go ahead and talk to this, since we are swimming in the moolah right now, we might as well go ahead and buy some of these completely relives, relieves your aches and pains, one hearty latte for, uh, Kevin 70. All right then, we'll just buy it. Let's try it out. Who said that we could say we bought everything, you know? I definitely want to have that status in the game. Let's see. I don't know if that's gonna be like a challenge or not, or one of the banners. Let's see. All right, so this is gonna refill our color, right? So just in case we need something like that, I mean, I think that'll be it, but that is pretty expensive. <laughs> All right, then let's get on out of here. That seems to be the most we can do currently at this Rochambeau Temple, but man, that was a blast. I love that. Hopefully we see more things like that, but we are not done for today. We got more things to explore and saving. Do not turn off the power. So we will have anything here? Rochambeau Temple number one. And it's all grayed out, which I'm guessing means, you know, we have succeeded. So I'm sure we can go and rebattle them. But for right now, it looks like we can go to Daffodil Peak and try out this level. Ooh, nice and yellow. I have a feeling we're gonna use a lot of the color yellow here today. We don't need this because we are full on paint. But I'll definitely keep my eye open for secrets. I still wanna be able to 100% an area. We haven't done that yet. I'm guessing it's gonna be the pl first place we do it is probably going to be the harbor. So, um, the Prism Harbor, whatever it's called. But for right now, let's just enjoy this map. It looks like there's a pipe back there. And, oh, hey, Toad. Uh, welcome to Daffodil Peak, home of the legendary Mountain Sage. A mountain Sage? That's one of those guys who knows everything, right? Amazing, did you hear that, Mario? If this guy is really a wise old sage, he must know where to find the pain stars. Let's climb the mountain and meet the mountain sage. <laughs> okay, cool idea, but you'll need a climbing permit before I can let you climb the mountain. Head through the gate on your right and buy a permit from the park ranger. You'll find him in his cabin. Here, I'll open the gate. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, then, what's going on around here, though? 
Is this paintable? No, it's not, okay. Then. Just gotta make sure I'm not missing anything right off the bat, but there's some stuff over here we can paint up as well. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so what's going on around here? So I wonder how much a mountain climbing thing is. Hopefully it's not too much. This is a cool area so far though. Like it looks cool, I'm liking the aesthetics and everything. So let's go into this cabin and see what's going on. Hello, anybody home? Maybe, maybe not. Oh my gosh. Hmm, what's with this place? Mood seems kind of gloomy. Is this the park ranger the gatekeeper mentioned? Maybe he's one of those emo types. I mean, that's a little presumptuous. Oh, hey, need a climbing permit? Yes, sir, and we'd like to climb the Daffodil Peak and meet the Mountain Sage. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, but I'm really not in the mood. My cabin is a wreck. Vandals broken and drained color everywhere. I'm too depressed to do my job. I'm sorry. We understand these color spots are a real downer. I'd be depressed too. Oh, Mario, this guy's really bringing me down. Think we can fix this place up a bit? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, ready? Adio. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make your day a little bit better, buddy. A little bit better. It's my favorite thing to do in this world. It's hopefully to improve somebody's day, right? All right, oh, got that a little bit. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay. And then there's, oh, even the fireplace, yikes. On, let's fill that up. Red and orange, ooh, we get a firefly. That's pretty fitting. Look at this painting. That's cool, that's actually a little creepy. Honestly, that is a little bit creepy. It's just a little too real looking. It's not paper, that's the thing. In this paper world, it is very not much paper at all. That is very weird. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I cleaned it up, dude. How's that? Uh, It's still pretty messed up in here, I guess. I can move in with my cousin, poor person. Hey, dude, be a little grateful. This toad is a downer. It fits the place up and brighten his mood. Oh, the clock. Oh my, ah. Uh. Um, here. Come on. There you go, I fixed the clock. Yay, it's working now. What else are we missing? Maybe we can like, oh, we can open curtains. Ah, I see. You could you know, let me know, give me some details. Ooh, I see this now. Um, How do I move it? Hmm. I don't know how I move this. That's weird. I could try to paint it, but obviously that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Seems like there's something on the other side of that window. Yeah, I did the window, dude. I didn't do this. How do I move, how do I move the rug? Hmm, okay, I see what he's saying. There's something on the, ah, the other side. Interesting. Oh, scrap, this is an unfurl block. What? Hitting an unfurl block grants you the power to unfurl certain objects, but only for a limited time. While your unfurl power is active, just hammer things that bear the unfurl mark to, well, unfurl them. Excuse me? Come to think of it, wasn't there something with the, some mark inside the cabin? Here, let's figure this out really quick. All right, whoa, yeah, this, okay. There was no symbol on that, so I don't know what the heck it's talking about. Oh, okay. What in the world's going on with this? Whoa, fancy. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite chair. Somehow it must have gotten folded into a plain old box. Nice and furling, Mario. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But hey, they must have drained the color from it. What a shame, it was my favorite chair ever. Don't worry, don't be down about it, Toad, because I can fix that too. First, let me get these coins before they disappear. Now let me fix your chair. Uh, got it. How's that, dude? Comfy enough? Colorful enough? Good enough? I hope so. Oh, he's happy now, yay! Woohoo! my cabin, I can't believe it! I'm glad he's happy. All right, let's talk to him, what's going on? Mario, you fixed my place, thanks so much. My heart and my cabin are back to their bright, happy lives, and as a thank you here. Oh my, <laughs> man, he's got like a whole, a whole bachelor pad here. Uh, take the climbing permit. They'll usually run you a pretty penny, but this one's on the house, so to speak. <laughs> that is true. Oh my, it is like really locked up too. Thank you. All right, so we got a free mountain climbing permit. Actually got some money out of it too, seeing all these coins popped out. All right. Cool indeed. Wonderful, thanks, Stern. Glad we could help, I actually feel a lot better, too. Hmm, so I'm, gl I'm glad that Huey's all better. That Toad's infectious attitude wasn't too much for him. Okay, so can we get up here? We cannot. I mean, we don't need to, per se, so. Oh, keep that in mind, though, an unfurl block. I wonder what we could use that for in the future. Maybe we could use it in previous levels. Maybe that's how we're gonna be able to find some unpainted stuff. That would be good. 
All right then, mountain climbing permit. What do you have to say now? Ah, you got the climbing permit. I'm a bit surprised you got one considering the park ranger has been rather down in the dumps. Anyway, let me start my spiel over. Helps me remember my lines. <clears throat> Welcome to Daffodil Peak, home of the legendary Mountain Sage. You'll find the sage at the peak of the mountain. All right, I'll open up the mountain path. Cool stuff, so that wasn't too bad at all. Wasn't that difficult to find ourselves the opening to this? Have a good climb, Mario. Not a problem, man, not a problem. Let's go ahead and go into the pipe. I don't see any other like open paint spots, so hopefully this is nice and good. Hmm, oh boy, we got a new enemy. Can I get an early smack on him? Yes, I can, oh, sneaky zebra. <laughs> All right, so we definitely don't wanna hop on these guys, but we got like new spiky shell guys. I've seen these guys on the Mario games, I just don't know their name. Hmm, how do we wanna deal with them then? Uh, I guess we'll just do double hammer. Okay, let me see if I can't find a worn out hammer, because we got like so many cards, it's ridiculous. Uh, let me sort my cards really quick. Doesn't look like I do. So I'm just gonna use two normal hammers because I got plenty of them. I'm gonna finish up painting and then just send that out into the wild. Help me out, hammers, help me out. I haven't played in like a whole entire 12 hours, so I might mess these up. Ooh, yeah, okay, I was able to take them out. They didn't have much else, that's good. Perfect bonus, look at how many coins we have, it's insane, what a difference. Just stark contrast in the amount of money we have. All right, let me uh fill this up as much as I can. Got another card there, there's that worn out hammer I was looking for, and then here's an unpainted hammer. And there's an, another unpainted spot here. Definitely like getting cards out of these so I don't have to waste my time going back and buying more. But I, it doesn't matter either way, we got plenty of money. So that's just like a really easy, easy method to getting coins, is to you know, get the paint star, go to Rancho, Rochambeau Temple, and it's like it's, oh, that flying, the paratroopa. This is guys too as well, but I was hoping I was gonna be able to dodge him. So let me go ahead and try something a little bit different here. We'll try, we'll try, well I mean it's not all that different. But um, we're gonna go ahead and try the double spring jump, or the hop slipper I think. Already? Okay, so we luckily can jump that high while well, these guys have a ton of health. Holy cow. All right, well luckily I can get them on the ground so I could actually use a hammer next. Oh, come on, all right, and it still was not enough to take them out. Holy cow. Oh, come on, I blocked, I pressed A. You really gotta time that right. Come on, I pressed A. Like, what more can I do? <laughs> All right then, I'm gonna use the hammer. I honestly think I'll just need one. Oh, I'll use another one just in case. I don't want this game being a booty butt to me. All right, send those out. And are you guys ready to go? Cause I'm ready to go. Ooh, yeah, and that was okay, I was right. <laughs> you only need one. Well, you know, you can never be too sure, right? So I'm starting to get a little bit worried because we are at least almost five hours into this game now and we still have not gone against our first boss. Are there even boss fights in this game? Like I've seen them though. You know, I've seen like the Koopa Bros and I've like, you know, like I got like a little letter from Nintendo when I actually, you know, received this game from them. And you know, it said like, you know, before the game releases, don't show off the Koopa Bros. And I'm all like, ooh, Koopa Bros. And I saw Lemmy was on there, I got so excited. And I'm like, is he actually in the game? Or is that just, were they lying to me? I really wish he, I really hope he is, like a boss fight of some sort, because that'd make me happy. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I was just like, maybe this is like a 100 hour game and I'm just not realizing it though. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, actually, I was gonna use a worn out hammer but instead I should probably use, I'm gonna use a triple jump. There we go. Okay, so I think I got what I wanna figure out. I got a worn out triple jump for the Koopa Troopa. And then maybe that was a bad idea because if so, I'm gonna be forced to hop on the other guy and that's not gonna be good. All right. Yeah, there you go. Don't, 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 no, no. no. <laughs> well, there wasn't too much I can do about that. But you gotta definitely plan it out well. If you're not paying attention, that will happen to you. But there's another battle done. I'm running a little low on health, so I might have to use a mushroom soon. In the meantime, I think I'll be fine. All right, got all that. Oh, I see a paint spot up here. How in the world do I get up there? Hmm. Well, can I plop down here? I can. Okay then, so I wasn't. I'm guessing that the fact that we can plop down like that is probably gonna mean that we can plop down from up there. Yeah, that's looking about right. So let's go through here. Ooh. Whoa, we ran into an enemy in the pipe? Oh my gosh, oh this is a cool visual. I like that, I like that a lot. Luckily it's just one of these guys. I do not mind that. 
we're done painting. I'm just gonna use one worn out hammer because I honestly don't think I need too much more than that. All right, you ready? Probably should have taken this opportunity. Oh, that was good. What? No, 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 no. Oh, yes, okay, I blocked that. You really have to block super early for that one. But um, I really should have taken the opportunity. Wait, 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 and I'm, I'm talking about it now. I should take the opportunity to put a mushroom in there as well, just to heal up. So let's go ahead, we're gonna, oh no, this might not work because, there you go. But I can't even use the mushroom. I'm such a dingus, I should have put the mushroom first. You still use, take time to get used to that kind of stuff. Oh, well there's a full health up here anyways. Uh, I was just wasting my time and my cards. There you go, back up to 50. Not yet, dudes, not yet, calm down. Okay, let's go. Here, I'm gonna hit you with the hammer. Yeah, hit you with the hammer. I don't know if that actually will do damage to you though. Like, oh, it does, okay, it reaches. So maybe I should use a fire flower on him? Let's try then. Hmm, and then we'll use a KO hammer after that. And let's see how this works. So Mario's gonna charge up, we have to press A when the, the fireball's in his hands, like that, like that, like that, and then, yeah, so these all went past the Koopa Troopa, which sort of stinks, because I can't reach him. <laughs> the attack dinner, Mario's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not in the mood anyways. So let's just go ahead and hop on him. So the fire flower will not reach him. That's fine with me. I'll just use double hop slippers and that should take him out. Like one hop slipper is not enough, but two is just fine. All right, boop, boop. We're just gonna keep timing this. Keep timing it. I'm really getting used to the jump timing at the least. All right, got this. I, I think we already took him out. Just getting some bonus coins out of it at this point. And there you go. Another group of enemies defeated. Let's get this, there's another Koopa Trooper. We gotta be careful about these paratroopers. What is going on behind here? A whole bunch of stuff. I don't wanna fall down there just yet, whatever it might be. Ah, oh, they're making me. <laughs> they're like, you have no choice, Zebra. You gotta go down there and get that car. What was that? Did you guys see that like word bubble in the top left? That was like, Ugh. Oh, there's a toad up there. There's a purple toad up there. I think there's our final purple toad we need to find. Okay, then I'll keep that in mind. Okay, let's go ahead, get this. And it is a blaze hammer, that's new. All right. Oh, we got you. We got you. Nice stuff. Okay then. Oh my, this is a stacked battle right here. Okay, how do I want to do this? This is tough to figure out. Hmm. I think I just want to do a normal jump, and then I'm gonna spawn in a Koopa Troopa. That sounds like a weird idea, right? Well, we're gonna see how this works out. Yeah, da da da. Because this is definitely enough to take him out, which is really good. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take care of anybody else here. And those little spike shells really do do the trick here. And can I time that? No, looks like he's up on his own, but he does guarantee a takedown, which is great. Please attack the one Koopa, not me. Oh, okay, okay, he still attacked me. That sort of stinks, but that's fine. We can make this work. So he gets taken out by a boot pretty easily. Like the hop slipper is honestly a little on the weak side then. So we can just go ahead. We could paint up a boot, and we'll be able to take him out with this, I think. As long as we time it right, which we should. Yeah, we got it, he's going down. Yep, he's out. All right, cool. And there's another Koopa Troopa done. Paratroopa, Koopa Troopa. Turtle, <laughs> don't you dare call him a turtle. So let's pop down here, because I think this is where we need to go. Ready? Oh, we can. Huh, weird. Oh, I gotta fall back like that, huh? Hmm, so it's a little bit farther back than what it appears. I don't know if we could get that from here then. Like, what if I'm way back here and I jump for it? Oh, I almost got it. All right, luckily it's not a long walk, so we can keep trying this. Let me try it one more time on camera. And if it works, then we'll keep going. If not, I'll try to do it off camera. I think we got this. We just gotta jump farther. Ready, set, super jump! No, there's like an invisible wall. What kind of bogusness is that? All right, well, we might as well go around, try to figure this out really quickly. So there's a spot down here, and this is the only place we can go for right now. Ah, maybe we could, no, it doesn't actually look like it leads anywhere, actually, okay. Well, there's a toad here, too. All right, hi, Mr. Toad, you're just a red toad. Whoa, thanks for the help, Mario. I was searching for the fabled mountain sage, but then I got jumped by a group of shy guys. To add insult to injury, I never found the mountain sage. Maybe he's on vacation? Maybe. All right then, I never found the mountain stage when he was on vacay. <laughs> I like that, maybe he's on vacay. 
I love the Toads' hip dialogue. Like, that's the thing everyone's complaining, oh, there's only Toads in this game, but it's like the Toads are written so well and fun. It's just like, how can you be upset, man? How can you be upset? Hmm. This is where I'm tempted just to try to plop down, just like this. I don't know. I'll have to try that one more time. All right, so I tried a few times, got no luck at all. I don't know how you get that darn thing. But in the meantime, we might as well take her anger out on a couple Koopas. A couple Koopas. A couple Koopas. Ah, oh, these guys again. All right, you know what I'm gonna do then? I know how to handle these guys now. When it's a combo like this, I can handle it. What I gotta do is I just gotta go ahead, put a hammer on the right side, and then I just need a normal boot on the left. So just like that, paint up the boot, I'm good to go. We should be able to handle it now. A normal boot takes care of these Koopas, especially if we get the first strike. See, like, he's already out of health down. So that's good. We broke 3,500 coins, guys. We started this episode out with 800, so that's pretty good. And there's a perfect bonus. Cool stuff. All right, so there's a bit more. I wanna make my way to this purple Koopa, but we might not have the chance to in today's episode. There's just a lot going on. Well, he's down here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh, okay. We got some paratroopers to take out first before we do anything else. So, oh man, we get rid of his, ooh, fancy. Oh man, do we have a line jump? I don't think we do. I, I might have to just use the triple jump. Yeah, I do have one last triple jump that I'll use here just because. So let's go ahead, paint this up, and let's let that rip. So this game really, like, difficulty-wise, it hasn't been super heavy, but I have a feeling we're, like, still not even very far into the game. Even though we have, like, half an hour each episode, which I think is super crazy, you know? I don't know if we are quite all the way through it. This time, the boots aren't doing as much because they're worn out, so maybe this wasn't the best idea? Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't as effective as I was hoping. Whoa, okay, I was able to block it a little bit. All right, let's take care of him one more time. I'm gonna put a mushroom out there because I definitely want to get healed up because I have a feeling that I'm going to need to be healed because I feel like once we find this purple toad, we're going to be in a battle. So let me heal up now. I did it in the wrong order again. What is wrong with me? All right, well, oh well. <laughs> I'm just wasting all these mushrooms. Luckily, we got rid of it. Not a problem now. I gotta make sure I pay attention to the order because the order is super important. All right, so there are one of the Koopas done. I might wanna just try to dodge this guy. Let's go ahead and fill this up. You leave me alone. He is not stopping. He is on a, <laughs> he's a heat-seeking missile. What is with this dude? Okay, we're fighting him. We're fighting him indeed. And his buddy shows up too, fine. You guys wanna tussle, we'll tussle. Can I just get something super powerful then? I'm just gonna get boots if I have any. Do I have any boots? Please tell me I have boots. I don't have any boots left. So I'm gonna have to do this to difficult one. Yeah, we don't have too much of a way to deal with them. I don't know what the spike helmet really does, so we're gonna try that right now as well. So let's get ready with this, and make maybe I can just hit them in the butts with the spike helmet and like poke them. Let's find out, ready, boop. Like I'm gonna be able to get him on the ground. That's the, about the most you can do with this. Then what about the spike helmet? Ooh, I got the spike helmet. Oh no, that's all it does, okay. Interesting. Oh, and I could've used that there. And, oh man, we're starting to get a little crumpled. You're crumpled and I can't move. Oh my. Oh no, so I couldn't do anything that turn. Oh my, oh my indeed. Whoa, so there's some new scary stuff. I don't wanna deal with that again. What are we gonna do to deal with that? I wish I had that triple jump. <laughs> I guess then. I really don't know what we wanna do about this. I just don't have the best cards for the situation. Hmm. I guess I'll go ahead and use a mushroom. And uh, let me check out what this Eek Hammer does. Quickly wax a single enemy up with a hammer up to five times. I don't think that's what we want right now. I wish I still had a multiple jump here. Hmm. What if it's, no, I can't do that. You know what? I'm using the Replicable Lemon. You know what, I'm done with these guys. We're gonna get a mushroom, we're gonna paint the Replicable Lemon, we're gonna see what the lemon does. I really, I really hope it doesn't plaster Replica all over it again, but it probably will. Ooh, got 40 health, so that's good. Now lemon, do your thing. Yeah, just apply, that's so cheap, I really don't like that. All right, oh my gosh, I'm being cooked up. What is this really gonna do though? Oh my, oh, it's gonna get all in their eyes? Ew, that's, that must really be painful, honestly. 
Oh wow, blinded by lemon juice. I don't know if he'll be able to attack, or maybe he'll have like a much, oh well, he missed, the attack missed. Jeez, that's gonna be like, you gotta go to the doctor for that, dude. I sort of feel bad, that was a little rough. And now I'm gonna do double spring jump, just to really take care of these guys now. And next time, next chance we get, we're definitely going to go back out and buy some more boot cards, because they're so easy to buy. All right, I'm filling this up and destroying ya. See ya, didn't even need that other spring shoe, but I didn't care, I was gonna take it preemptively. There you go, so there's all that done. We're gonna go ahead and fill up this puddle right here, right now, and see what this brings us, hopefully a few cards. Um. There you go, gives us at least going to card a hammer. So with that being said, I think we'll cut things off there. In the next episode of Paper Mario Color Splash, we will hop down and check out this Purple Toad and hopefully be able to help him out. Hopefully he will be the last member of the Purple Toad Squad or the Toad Rescue Squad we need. We'll find that out in the next episode of Paper Mario Color Splash. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Rock, Paper, Zebra, so I know you've watched the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.